G'day everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we have got something pretty insane because on my right we've got a HSV GTS LSA and over here on the left we have got a C63S AMG. Now you might think these cars are completely different classes but on paper at least they do stack up pretty evenly here because on the used market these cars are costing about the same around 100, 130 grand both have got V8s, twin turbo, supercharged, both rear wheel drive, both weighing around the same weight, 1.8 ton, 1.7 ton. And both of these cars now as well are not stock because the C63 here from factory would have been pushing about 375 kilowatts, 700 Newton meters. Now it's got upgraded Borg Warner turbos, downpipes, exhaust, stage two tune, we're guessing around 500 kilowatts here. This thing is fast. Over on the HSV guys, this thing as well, it's got the Walkinshaw W507 pack. So from factory, this thing was pushing 430 kilowatts already. Now with the Walkinshaw upgrade, 507 kilowatts. I believe that is at the crank, upgraded exhaust, pulley, intake, cam. Yeah, it's pretty hectic, this thing. Six speed manual, seven speed MCT. Both rear wheel drive. Let's fire these things up. everybody so starting off in this HSV GTS LSA oh, oh, oh baby yeah man this is what it's all about people and uh, you know the pride of Australia is this lion uh, I gotta say it you know the VF was just absolutely monumentally ahead of every Aussie car that was built before it. And uh, you know, this thing with the W507 package, it really does just take this thing to the next level. And a fun fact is this thing with the 507 pack technically makes more than the W1. Uh, yeah, I believe the W1 was like 474, 70, 475 kilowatt. Uh, yeah, this thing is over 500 kilowatt. Now I think that's the crank, but still, this is hectic. Now we do just first have to say a huge thanks to Next Ride here in Perth, WA, because they loaned us both of these today. So yeah, not one, but two. <laughs> they have both of these cars for sale right now. Uh, these things are absolutely beautiful. Pack a serious punch. And uh, yeah, guys, they got a lot of fun sports cars. So. A link for them is in the description. Please check them out. Now again, you gotta just love this thing because 6.2 liter LSA motor up here. And you know, I believe this motor was featured in America in like the top of the range Camaros. I believe even the CTSV Cadillac had this motor, I think. Uh, yeah, it is a beast. And again, you know, 430 kilowatt factory. This one now, 507 kit jesus there's no replacement for displacement and in a six feet manual that's how you want it you can hear that whine come through oh it is good my friends it is too good now we do have some dreadfully thin tires on this so you know it's got the gtsr style wheels which look so sexy but yeah, it, traction is not your friend. And just on the interior, look, you know, it's definitely not up to the C63 level, but I gotta say for an Aussie built car here, you know what I mean, 100 grand, brand new, it's pretty nice in here. You know, you got some leather seats here, you know, you got some Alcantara even on the dash. All up, it is really quite a nice beast. And, uh, you know, massive big brakes on these things. This one is very low and you do kind of got to be careful 
Uh, not to scrub it a little bit, but you know what I mean? This thing, again, just pick a gear again, 6.2 liters. It's got power everywhere. You can hear that exhaust open up as well at around like that 4,000 RPM mark. Oh, it's sweet. Heel toe is easy. <laughs> and boy, yeah, she cooks. Oh, baby. Yeah, this thing will get you in some trouble, man. She's got some heat. This particular one, too, I got to mention it. You know, it's got a genuine carbon fiber bonnet, and I have never seen that on any Aussie car basically ever. So that's pretty damn cool. You know, it definitely looks a little bit funny with the black car. I think if this was a white car or another color, it would really make it stand out a bit more. But still, feeling the weight of it when you lift the bonnet, it is noticeably lighter, like big time. And again, the fact that this thing brand new is $97,000 base, uh, that is an absolute bargain. And this thing is holding its value tremendously well because even exa an example like this, which is low Ks, this has got 45,000 Ks on it. It's very nice example with the W507 kit. Uh, you know, this one is, for, is selling for about 108,000, I think, 109, something like that. And I have seen some of these on car sales selling for, you know, 130 plus with similar Ks uh, you know, and spec. Some of these ones with extremely low Ks are going for like 150 plus. So yeah, people want these things. And I gotta say it too, because my boy Troy Candy, I love that guy. Uh, this to me is just, it's like the epitome of a Troy Candy spec vehicle. You know, W507, six speed manual, GTSR style wheels. We've even got the pink HSV center caps on these wheels, which again, that just, that's my boy Troy. Uh, and then again, the carbon fiber bonnet. Man, big cam. Troy, we gotta do a collaboration, man. It's gotta happen one day. I'm a huge fan, brother. I just, I find this thing as just... It is a good thing this thing has absolutely monstrous brakes on the front and the rear. Uh, <laughs> 1.8 ton should not move this quick. It is just so crazy. And it just eggs you on that supercharger whine. Like you do not want to let off. Even you can feel the back wheel struggling for traction in second, even in third. And uh, it's just telling you to hold on. Like it's screaming at you to just keep your pedal down. Oh, it's so good. Now guys, if you are enjoying this type of content, please make sure you go ahead and hit that big red subscribe button. Hit the bell notifications. Give us a like because it really, really does help us find new cars to review uh you know the more support we get on this channel just the more doors open up so i hope you guys enjoy this stuff and uh yeah it means a lot to all you guys to subscribe now guys i have actually reviewed a absolutely insane 527 kilowatt i believe wheel kilowatt uh gts lsa when i was over in melbourne last time so if you have not seen that video i'll leave a link for it right here make sure you check it out because that was absolutely just it was even better than this, and uh, it's hard to believe that it can get better. All righty, now zero to 100, guys. this thing makes oh my lord it is heaven now forgive me guys i did forget to change it to kilometers per hour i just got a new phone uh zero to 60 miles per hour so you know a little bit less 5.4 seconds so yeah that's pretty damn impressive i feel like for a manual with these kind of tires on a back road 
yeah, it's quick. Alrighty guys, now in the C63 here. <laughs> and this is literally just a different beast. Uh, as soon as you step inside this car, it is just kind of wrapped around you a lot more. You've got these really tight hugging leather sport bucket seats. Uh, you know, this Alcantara steering wheel, carbon fiber everywhere. You know, it really does feel nice in here and you feel lower in the car. The car feels tighter, more wrapped around you. Uh, it just does, you know, the chassis as well. Just feels more nimble, this thing. Ooh, it's, it's different. It's so different. This doesn't have that kind of same pick a gear and, you know, you're just off because you really do have to be in that turbo for it to really go off. You know, 3,000 plus on the RPM scale here. And uh, man, it makes a ferocious noise. Yep, this is it just feels like a tighter scalpel, this car, than the GTS, unfortunately. Uh, and you know, again, this thing brand new was 155K just starting. And the fact is, you know, this one, stage two tune, upgraded turbos, downpipes, you know, this, it probably is making more power. I, it really probably is. It's just totally different. You know, that, that HSV really feels straight line, strong. Pick a gear, it's got power down low, it's linear. This thing just feels, it feels a lot more race car. It feels a lot more scalpel, track orientated, and uh, just, oh, it's, it's ferocious. Again, you know, it's the drug dealer's cars, it's the super wog vehicle, but I'm a wog boy deep down. Like, I love this thing. and. You know, just being totally obnoxious, as loud as you possibly can be. I absolutely love this thing. And, you know, cruising down, you know, just making a racket in this thing. It just brings the biggest smile. You know, I just cannot smile. I can't not smile sitting in this car. It's, it is just too fun. It's wow, wow, man. It's different. It it is it is really. Let me let me just put this thing back into drive. It is so different to the the HSV because the seven speed MCT is just so fast. And you know the paddles are responsive. It just feels like it's just that never stops pulling because as soon as you up change with the paddles, it's just straight into it again on boost, and you are just struggling for traction. And you can actually hear those turbos kind of flowing and, and doing a little bit of a dose almost when you're really getting up into it and let off. Wow, it's so damn quick. And I gotta say, you know, just in terms of handling, this has got it 100%. Steering feel feels really nice as well. It, it's just a sharper car in general, this. It absolutely is. You know, the HSV really feels like a proper muscle car. You gotta row your gears. It scares you, you know, in a straight line. This thing, it can scare you because of how quick you can go around a corner in it. You know, you can really push this thing and it will take the abuse, but man, when you're pushing this kind of power, this rear end, it is struggling, man. You need them good tires on the back. I will say I do prefer the feel 
of the supercharger. You know, the wine that comes through in the HSV just is nicer. Uh, you do feel like you're doing a little bit more work as well in a manual. Uh, so this, this really just comes down to what you want from the car because if you want something a little bit more old school feeling, the HSV has got it. If you want something that is just ridiculously quick and makes a f***ing racket, this is it all day. You know, the luxury feel in here, the insane noise out the back, uh, the, yeah, and th this thing is a bullet. It's an absolute bullet. And the good thing about this particular C63S is that you can really daily this. It's comfortable inside, you know, it's nice. You've got tons of luxuries. And then you can just quickly get to speed limit and have a racket like that. It just makes you smile because in the HSV, you really do need a bit more runway to get that thing singing. So yeah, as a daily, this is, it's good. Just gunshots. This thing though, just the noise. It is fantastic. Oh, <laughs> oh man, it's a symphony. It's a symphony of destruction! You can just imagine Satan himself driving this thing. All black with the red accent. Making a noise like this. Oh, it is hellish, this thing. Wow. <laughs> yep, this car will make anyone a criminal. Thankfully, we're in Mexico. Woo, and we got big brakes because you need it. Now, zero to 100 in this C63S, people. Wow. <laughs> I don't know if we really did launch control there or not, but it just absolutely took off this thing. Let's have a look at the draggy. Again, it was zero to 60 because I still haven't changed that, but we got 4.8 seconds right there, and I don't think we even engaged proper launch control. Again, you know, this thing being tuned with different turbos, I'm not sure if launch control actually even works. Uh, but again, 4.8 seconds, 1.7 tons, and listen, it's a back road. This thing could do four seconds all day. I guarantee it. Now look, guys, a huge thanks once again to Next Ride for loaning these two cars out to us. Make sure you follow them on their socials. Check their website out if you are after a car. These are for sale. Be quick. Uh, just a fantastic group of guys, highly rate them. Uh, again, what do you guys think? I wanna hear you in the comments. C63S, HSV GTS, the LSA, you know, the twin turbo four liter, V8 from Mercedes. Ah, it's a hard one, guys. Look, if I was gonna get a daily, I think I would without a doubt take the C63S. If, uh, you know, I wanted something that was a little bit more old school, had the more, you know, tuning capabilities, working on it yourself, without a doubt, I'm going the HSV. And uh, either way, you can't lose with these two cars. You simply can't. And with the electrification and the four cylinder now in the new C63S, it is just such a shame. And I think these prices of the V8 ones are forever now just gonna continue to be held up uh, so yeah guys leave it in the comments what would you take hope you enjoyed the video subscribe hit the like button and uh, we will see you on that next one <laughs>